Hello everyone! This week we're doing lesson 23 in Delta, dividing four numbers by one number. Also, rounding! Woohoo! Your guys' favorite, I know! Alright, so there are two parts to this. First, we have our problem. Alright, so this week we're going to, not this week, this lesson, we're going to go ahead and do our first number, if my pen would love to work, 9 divided by 6,060. Alright, so first, it looked intimidating. There's four numbers. The numbers keep growing. Don't worry. I promise it's easy. All right. So we have our problem laid out here. Also, I know on the side, there is this, where we have things in parentheses. All right. We're going to start with this, though. So first, we start with our problem. How many nines go into six? None. Nine can't fit into six. How many nines fit into 60? All right. Um, you can either do the finger trick. You can do, if you know on top of your head, awesome. If you don't know either of those things or can't remember, you can always just spitball. You can count up, but spitballing sometimes can be easier. So let's just do nine times five. 9 times 5, you can count by 5. Easiest to always pick that one from the start. 5's 9. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. <laughs> Took me a sec. 45. 9 times 5 is 45. Do you think we can get closer to 60? I think so. Let's do 9 times 6. 9 times 6, that means we just add 9 more to 45. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 54, do you think we can get even closer to 60? We can try. 9 times 7, 9 times 7, we're going to add 9 more to 54, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Err, too high. We only need to go to 60. So this one is 63, but we are not going to use him. The closest we can get is 9 times 6. So we'll put a 6 at the top minus 54. All right. Can we subtract 4 from 0? No. We have to borrow from the neighbor. He turns into a 5, he turns into a 10. 10 minus 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6. 5 minus 5 is 0. We drop our 6 down. How many 9's go into 66 without going over? We look here at what we spitballed, 63. Do you think we can get any closer without going over? No, we cannot because 63, 64, 65, 66, that's only three separating it. All right, so we put our 7 on top, 63 right here. 6 minus 3 is 3. 6 minus 6 is 0. We drop our last number, 0. How many 9's go into 30? We might not need to spitball this. 9. 18, 27, 36. 36 is too high. We can't do 36. So 9 times 3 was what? 9, 18, 27. Our 3 goes right here. Minus 27. Can we take 7 from 0? Nope. We have to borrow. He becomes a 2 and he becomes a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. Can we bring anything else down? No. Is this how we leave our answer, 673? No. What's missing? Our remainder. We cannot forget about our little friend. Our little friend of the remainder. 3 ninths. All right. 
So if we look over here now, we're going to round. The only thing we don't round is our dividing number. Our nine shoops over here, that stays. But our answer and our number that's been divided, that needs to be rounded. So our old number was 6,060. This was right here. But we're going to round that number. 6,060. Let's see, what does that round to? 6,060. We're rounding in the thousands place. 6,000 or 7,000. All right, if you remember from a few weeks ago, we look at our next number here. Is that four or less? Let it rest with the smaller number, or is it five or more? Up the score. Five or more up the score. Uh, zero is four or less, let it rest. So we're gonna go ahead and let it rest with 6,000. And Let's go ahead and come over here. Our number was 673 and 3 ninths. 673 and 3 ninths. Oh, we're in the hundreds place. We're going to round to hundreds. All right, our first one is right here for us. Easy peasy, 600. What's the next number that we'll round? It's between 600 and 700. All right. We look at our second number right here next to our hundreds place in the tens place, and he's the one that tells us, is it four or less? Let it rest with the smaller number, or is it five or more? Up the score with the bigger number. Seven is five or more up the score with our bigger number. 700 goes right there. All right. It, um, we're not doing any part of the rounding problem. All that wants you to see is the rounding section. All right, so this stays the same. This flies over here. You just round at the end of your problem. You can add these other parts to it. You could add this part, of course, early on, but you won't have your answer until you finish your division problem over here. All right, let's do the next one. All right. All right. The next one is four into eight thousand five hundred and nine. Big number. Ah, don't freak out. I promise. How many fours go into eight? Four, eight, two, score, easy peasy. Eight, zero, what do I do next? Drop it down, drop my five. How many fours go into five? Four, eight, brrr, too high, I only need to go to five. One, minus four, one, I drop my zero. How many fours go into 10? Four, eight, 12. Brrr, too big. Only two. Four times two, four, eight. Okay. 10 minus eight, eight, nine, 10. Two, I drop my last number, nine. How many fours go into 29? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, too high. Four times seven is 28. Okay, nine minus eight is one, two minus two is zero. Do I have anything else to drop down? No, I don't. That means I'm done, right? Is that our answer? Now, what's missing? Our remainder, we can't forget about our remainder. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and come over here and do our rounding. Okay, what number was supposed to stay the same? Our four, our dividing number. Four flies right on over. What two numbers change? Our answer and our divided number. All right, so here is our divided number, 8,509. What two numbers is 8,509 divided by? Not rounded to. It's in between 8,000 and 9,000. We just go 1,000 up. Okay, let's look at our second number here, which tells us which number we're going to be at. Is it going to be four or less, let it rest, or five or more up the score? It's a five. I'm going to go five or more up the score with 9,000. And my answer, 2,127 and one-fourth. Now, what's my answer? What two numbers is my, could my answer round up to or down? It could round down to 2,000 or it could round up to 3,000. I look at my second number here to tell me, is my second number four or less, let it rest, or is it five or more up the score? What do you think? Four or less, let it rest, or five or more up the score? Whew, four or less, let it rest. One is less than four. So that means our answer is going to round down to 2,000. Awesome, okay? And that's all I'm expecting. Please don't do any of the work over here because it's not gonna make any sense. Go ahead, all you're putting in, this number stays the same. This number stays the same. Your answer and your number being divided are the things that are changing, all right? Go slow. If you need to watch this lesson again, please do. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is not a super crazy lesson, but it can get confusing. So remember our rounding that we did a few lessons back. If you have questions, Ask your parents or ask me, all right? I'm just a phone call away, all right? You can either call me or you can FaceTime me. I'm happy to help, all right? Love you guys. Hope you understand this and have a wonderful day, all right?